Welcome to Prepare for the Wild. In this episode, we're going to talk about why you should use neutral density filters for your wildlife photography and filmmaking. And we're going to have a look on this one in seven functions filter system from Freewell Pro. And we're going to see if it's any good. Let's talk about why you would like to use neutral density filters for your wildlife photography and filmmaking. A lot of you people out there have done maybe long exposure photos before with neutral density filters, I will call them shortly, ND filters of course. And you do that for long exposures of clouds, sky and really famously water movement. To freeze the movement to take different elements, details out of there. But why would you use neutral density filters in wildlife photography? And here we go especially on filming, because in filming we want to follow specific rules depending on our frames per second. I will link a video up here about shutter angles by Mark Bone, which explains everything in detail. But what it boils down to is that we want to record video footage at a shutter angle of 180 degrees. But what does that mean? If we have 25 frames per second, we want to film at 1 50th of a second, roughly doubling the frame rate. Optimally, we would, would like to film at 1 48th of a second, but most hybrid cameras don't have that option. That's basically simply what it is. 24 frames per second, 1 48th of a second, 30 frames per second, which is really common in TV. We want to have 1 60th of a second, 60 frames per second, we want to have 120th of a second and if we film at 120 frames per second, really slow motion, we want to have 240th, 1 240th of a second. I will put that down here so that you understand exactly what I'm talking about. And that's called 180 degrees shutter angle. So, why would we do that? And what happens if we break that? If someone watches your footage, it will be a bit odd to them. You can use and break these rules to add specific elements to your video footage. But in general, you don't want to break it. And why? The essence is, we are used to watching 24 frames per second in cinema or 30 frames per second in TV. And all of this is normally filmed with a 180 degrees shutter angle. And if this is changed, people gonna notice. I still remember when TVs came out with two hertz that generated a frame in between the frame. Everything seemed so much more smooth, like 60 frames per second. You notice it, your audience is gonna notice it. And that's why we need neutral density filters, because our shutter is locked. Imagine a really sunny day, not exactly like this. But your shutter is locked at 1 50th of a second. That's pretty long for filming and for photography. And your ISO can't go lower. What's the last thing that we can change? The aperture. But what if you don't want to do that? What if you don't want to change it? What if you maybe want to film at a really narrow depth of field? That's where neutral density filters come in as sunglasses for our cameras. And expensive film cameras have these integrated, integrated neutral density filters. But for you guys out there mostly that's either too expensive or not reasonable because you're hybrid shooters. And as a hybrid shooter it's really nice when you take photos and in between when you want to film you just pop on a filter or you screw it on. And it's really, really good if you have a variable ND filter so that you can screw in and change the neutral density and dial it in exactly how you want it to be for your settings at the moment. Let's have a look on the system from Freewell Pro. And uh, I want to say that they reached out to me and asked me if I can do a review. I said yes, because I didn't have a filter thread for a socket of 95 millimeters and such a big filter. So that was a real good yes for me to try it out. I could keep it and I said they have to pay the customs so there's no money that went one or the other way but this product. Let's get into this. This is a filter system which has space for two filters. We have the outer filter and we have an inner filter. There are a lot of different filters in here. They say it's a 7 to, uh, uh, in 1 solution and we basically can have a look at this. 
we have the base filter in here which is a one-stop neutral density filter that's a base filter then you can put a two to five stop on top or you can put a six to nine stop on top as much neutral density as you might need and then there is also in this mist filter which has also one stop neutral density on it and we can turn these filters around and they suddenly get another function for example the 2 to 5 neutral density filter is on one side the density filter but on the other side is circular polarizer uh, and the 6 to 9 stop can become circular polarizer plus 10 stop that's really interesting to have these many functions in one kit um, this is really not big for 95 millimeters uh, socket uh, you get them even smaller if you have other lenses, but I thought it's really really nice for people with big lenses to use that in wildlife photography a big plus in any case is The magnet magnets are awesome in general, but for hybrid shooters this is just such a nice feature because now I can film with neutral density filter on and just change it as much as I like it for filming and you know it, then you go over to photo photography and suddenly everything is dark and you would have to screw it off to take your photos. And now, for me, this is over, which is really nice. I can just take it off or put it on, take photos, film in between. And I'm concentrating here mostly on the neutral density filters because that's really important to me. So this solution with the magnet is really, really good. What I also like about this system is that the top lines up with my lens on the top so I can also always see what amount of neutral density I have right here dialed in. So far these filters feel like of good quality. There's no plastic on them, it's just metal and glass. In here you put a base filter. There are two base filters in this set. This makes one ND stop and you need it in there to have a variable ND in total. Then there's also the mist filter, which I haven't used yet, but which gives you specific effect on direct sunlight. I have to try that out another time, and it's really popular for a lot of people to use that right now. But then on the base filter you put the 2 to 5 or the 9 to 6 uh, neutral density filter, and then you have a working variable ND. If you turn around the 2 to 5 stop ND filter to have a circular polarizer, you take the base out. You could leave it in to have some ND effect, but you take it out. <laughs> then also you take it out when you turn around the 6 to 9 ND stop filter and get a circular polarizer and a 10 stop ND filter on top for photography reasons. To sum this up, neutral density filters are really important if your shutter speed is locked if your aperture doesn't want to be changed and if you want to give your viewer the most coming viewing experience so that your material looks not odd or off. Variable ND filters are really practical to really dial in exactly the amount of neutral density on the go while you're filming wildlife or anything else. The Freewheel Pro system here comes in with a lot of functions. Seven in one if not even more. And I think especially the neutral density filters here come with a good range of stops. Two to five, six to nine. You have really easily room to dial in the neutral density that you need. On top, just the magnetic system is a game changer. And I think at 400 euros for the big set with 95 millimeters, it's really good price. The filters are of good quality, the system itself lines up nicely. I look forward to testing this more and maybe showing a bit to you after a while. Thank you for tuning in and your interest in neutral density filters in wildlife photography. I hope you enjoyed this short look and review on the Freewheel Pro system. I hope to see you soon on another episode of Prepare for the Wild. We do gear in general. We look at photography gear, camping gear, outdoor gear. It's just basically about going out, being ready to film and staying warm and surviving. See you soon.